I feel like to enjoy my life. I guess I kind of should explain a TikTok video is like a five. I think I, I'm quite happy with this. You could not pass judgment. Good morning, you porcupine, pickled porcupine Penelope. Good morning, Penelope, you pickled porcupine. I'm really sorry. The audio for the next like six minutes of the actual video is pretty bad. I don't know what it is. I've tried cleaning it up a lot. And then I thought, what if I just cut out all of that bit? I think there's some pretty useful stuff in there. I hope you like, find it useful because it's going to be like my whole new strategy. I'm just, I'm really sorry that it is such bad audio. Uh, hope you can get through it. But if not, go to this timestamp here and it should be better. Kind of better. Sorry. Good morning, Penelope, you pickled porcupine. What a brilliant start. Okay, today is Sunday. It's New Year's Eve. Uh, but I am trying to figure out what I need to do to get my week set up in a sprint. How do I actually get the things done that I really need to get done? <clears throat> and how do I prioritize the things that I want to do to enjoy my life? I have a pretty good idea where to start, but there are lots of questions I have while doing it. So let's see if we can figure it out. Dramatic pause. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, this, what I'm wearing, by the way, you can you can not pass judgment, but uh, I don't know. I don't know why my son has it. I think it was a gift. It's good that I remember who from. And I, uh, he wants me to put it on. So here I am. Okay, all right. Let's get all of this shindig out the way. This, by the way, is going to be an iterative process. So we're not going to just start it right now and then it's done. It's going to be something that we are going to focus on. Maybe once a week, we'll give it a review or once a month, once every two weeks, we'll give it a review to see if it's actually doing the job we need it to. Is me a bloody pen? Is this me a pen? You bastard. I feel like you can't hear me with the mic there. Okay. Might be better, might not. All right, Oliver, you gorgeous son of a sausage. What are we trying to do? So we're gonna go in, so we're gonna put priorities. We're gonna have, I think I did this once before, didn't I? And, because I just didn't really follow it very well. So how do I, uh, I, I said I had a good idea where to start. I have like the middle bit sorted. Like that's what I know. But moving from where we are right now. So let, I guess let's just say the sprint is going to be one week. It's, oh, I'll put this underneath, one week. It's going to be Monday to Friday. And what, Let yeah, okay, then let's talk about the priorities and things that need to fit into that one week period. What needs to get done? So, priorities. Let's say, let's start with at least two TikToks, right? I think we did this before. Two TikToks. We're gonna do five YouTube vids. And then we're gonna do, should we aim for two clips per day? Let's aim for two clips per day with the goal of actually making three. Yeah? Yeah. All right, so yeah, we've got our priority one, which is making two TikToks. And then we have the five YouTube videos. Oh wait, so it's not two clips, is it? Two clips per day. Uh, that's not how I wanna do it. Let's just write 10. 
minuscule things that I'm picking up on. All right, on top of that, what else is there that needs to be done? Should What are the things that I do do that don't fit into these? Let's go back at the last time we did this. Did I take a photo? I think I took a photo and let's just fit all of those things in. That ain't it. Is that it? Nope. Where are you? Here we go. So we've got, yeah, so if we have our priorities here, and then let's do this by day of the week. So, oh wait, um, scrum review. Scrum review. Uh, it's not scrum review, is it? It's sprint review. Not like I've spent however many years doing this. Sprint review. Sprint plan. Maybe if I give a, I'll give an overall. Uh, okay. What the fuck am I doing? Each week is its own what we call sprint. And in that sprint, you pick up a bunch of work that needs to be done within that sprint. And you typically estimate the size of the work that needs to be done. That's what I should be doing. So you actually estimate the work that needs to be done so that you have a very general understanding of how much you can do in a sprint. So let's say that, I don't know, a YouTube video equals, I don't know, Actually, let's say it makes one point because it's, it's a pretty natural thing. Actually, just editing the YouTube video is so easy. I can just stick the clips in, export, that's it. It's the creating the, actually, that's the part that takes a long time. It's creating the intro that takes more time. So I'm gonna put this actually a, a two. And then a TikTok video. I'm gonna put this at more of a is it a full day of work? No. So these numbers, you, you use a scale of one, three, five, eight, and then it goes up, but we're gonna put minimum, minimum as a one, maximum work as an eight. And let's say an eight is a full day of work, just very generally speaking. A TikTok video is like a five is half a day. You know what? I guess I kind of should explain the whole process of the things that I think are interesting. So, anchor points. This is what I should really define first. So an anchor point, what is a one equal to? Two. Okay. All right, so I think a two is equal to something like a YouTube video. Uh, I think a two is also similar to a clip. A clip can range from a one to a three, depending on what type of clip it's gonna be. What's a one, something that's super easy? Let's say an email, something that can be done in five to 15 minutes. I'm not really sure what a three is yet, but a five is a typical TikTok video. And an eight is something that takes all day. Not really sure what that is yet. Um, I feel like a TikTok video should be broken down into the three parts that we set, which is like, the plan, getting props, shooting, edit, so yeah. Let's take props out of it. We'll put that into the planning phase. So plan, shoot, and edit. So let's do the actually. Um, 
would say about 30 minutes to an hour to plan. Shoots is going to take longer than that. And edit might also take... Uh, I'm not going to underestimate the work. I could very easily do that. I could very easily say that actually shooting might only take me an hour. But more often than not, it takes me longer than that. I don't know what a 5 is and I don't know what an 8 is. But I should set whatever those are. When I figure that out, I'll set out what those are. So let's say we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So on, let's, I think on Friday we want to, I want to do a sprint plan on Friday. Um, do I also want to do a sprint review at the same time? Yeah, I think before, before I plan out the next sprint, the next week of work, uh, I should do a sprint review. How did things go? Okay, sprint review. Not centered, but okay. So every day we have YouTube edits. Oh my gosh. Give me a second. Okay, almost done. I just can't do that properly. All right, every day we do our YouTube edit first thing in the morning. And then instead of, uh, the clips cannot be a priority over the TikTok stuff. Like I know that those are super important, but they can't be a priority. So let's talk about planning, shooting and editing. I have set up here that Oh gosh, I forgot the concept phase. So two TikToks, we have concepts, prioritize. So while I have the concepts, I want to be able to, yeah, we'll prioritize it against what we've been doing. And then we have the plan, shoot, edit. And I have set out here that on Monday, I do concept one and concept two. Do I, I, you know, I kind of think that I want to actually have the concept ideas on a Friday so that I can use, like if I want to think about them a bit more, I can do the weekend. Yeah, should Friday be my? Concept one and two. Because the concept is just thinking about ideas. No, let's yeah, let's do this. Let's do concept one and two on Friday. That way, we are thinking about the work that's to come the following week and being able to spend the weekend get, making up ideas. So then we have plan one, plan two on a Monday. Tuesday is shoot and edit one. Okay, shoot one and edit one. Wednesday is post, shoot, and edit. So post one, shoot two. So we're, at the moment, I guess we're going on the idea that we're going to shoot and edit in the same day. Thursday, I don't have much in here. Friday is post two. T 
two being the second video of the week, one being first video of the week. I think we probably have gotten there, couldn't we? Okay, so that takes that takes TikTok out of it, and then we have our clips. Should we aim for just doing two each day? Uh, two clips. I guess we're going to put this in here. Two clips. Oh, Thursday, two clips. Yeah, what if Thursday is kind of like a, almost like a break kind of day? All right, let's start estimating what this work looks like. So YouTube edit is a two. And I, this number can adapt each day, right? So like, let's say, uh, let's say I made a video that did actually require some deeper editing or for me to go through, like, let's say the video, the shaving video where Rugi was in a lot of the video, then I had to go through and um, blur him out. That video would actually probably move from a two to being a five. Because there was so much work involved in that. Easy, but a lot. And then we have the planning, which is a two. So two, two, uh, where else do we have plan? We just do that once, cool. And then shoot, edit. Oh wait, we've got clips, which are a two. Oh wait, that's actually ending up at four, isn't it? So how will I do those separately? I'll put two and then in brackets four, so I don't have to rub out everything. But I know what that is as we go across. Um, okay. What else do we have left over? Shoot and edit threes. And then shoot edit is a three, three. Posting is a one. That actually does probably take about 15 minutes to write out the caption and everything. Make sure everything's set, surprisingly. And then concept one and two, I haven't actually put in my anchor. So what would I do? Coming up with concepts, I'd say like 30 minutes-ish. All right, there's one kind of rule that you should never, uh, you should never match time to these efforts here. But I'm going to give it a pretty rounded number, considering it's just me and I can adapt this however I want to. Like when I was working in software teams, I would say, like I don't. It's best we don't think about our ranges. Just try and put one of these numbers down to it. And then we start to adapt our anchor points based on the more we learn. So really, when you, the only, well, not the only way, when you get to a team that's been together for a long time and is what you would call high performing, they could hit these with pretty much any accuracy. Pretty much any accuracy. They could hit these with like really good accuracy. And so that if you say you can get 20 points done in a sprint, so like a week of work, then they would probably more often than not hit that unless something arose. We didn't put in concepts, but I did put in concepts. So two and two. Sprint review and sprint plan. I think that should be 15 minutes. So sprint plan. And then I need to figure out what we'll do during that time. So sprint review, sprint plan is an hour each. So let's look at what we have. Oh, I was going to put down a very general, let me get another color. Dude, we're in flow state. <laughs> so dumb. All right, I think a one is between five to 15 minutes. A two, I think is one hour. A three is going to be two to five hours. A five, 
You know what, I don't think it should be that big. I think a three should be about two hours. And then a five is gonna be around half day. Full day is eight hours. So based on that, uh, I guess it looks like we have, oh my gosh. We can do this very base, basically first. So a two hour, two, we're saying is an hour work. So right here we have two, four, six, eight hours. So that is a full day. And three is two hours, so two, four, five, six. What did I count here? Two, three, four, five hours. Am I stupid? Uh, and then we have two, four, five, six hours. Uh, two, four, five, six, six, six point five hours. Here we only have two hours, and then for a Friday we have one, two, three, four, we'll call it five hours. So if we follow this plan, and actually I only spend an hour per planning and per editing, then we really should have a lot of time. I think I need to, what are the things that I like doing? It's crazy, isn't it? When you think just two TikToks and you think about all the time that gets consumed to do that. That seems pretty mad. I don't have anything here about the things I like doing, like researching, trying out new tools. Hmm. Do I want to put any of that in? I should, shouldn't I? Should we start setting up a notion? And we could hit the ground running with this on Monday, I think. Like plan one can be the 24 hour hand in lotion video. Plan two. L iron lung. I don't know. I just pick an item off the top. So we would come into the sprint each day, look at what we have to do today. All right, th that would fit, but what other priorities do we have that are not in here at the moment? Um, new tools. Strategy planning. I, th I think this has been my problem that I, I want to be in this place where I'm just making the videos and the content that I enjoy doing at that time, but I'm not in a place to be able to have that luxury. And so I need Instead of running off the motivation of feeling like wanting to make a video today, I need to be running off of discipline. So I need to build discipline for just getting these things done. And then I can start to go on the other things that I want to do.
I think I, I'm quite happy with this. I think we go for a week. This is this is annoying because I also want to make these videos kind of, you know, have some sort of entertainment factor. Like I've like I've there are lots of things that I want to do or try that don't make sense for like its own TikTok video would be that but would be like small bits that come into this video. However, I am not at a place. It's this topic that I've recently seen. L quiet luxury versus loud budgeting. Quiet luxury versus loud budgeting, is that it? Essentially, it's this idea that the loud people who have money, they don't really flash it around. But loud budgeting is when someone asks you, hey, do you want to go to this new restaurant tonight? It's the response is, no, I'm trying to save that money for, I'd rather not spend that money on a fancy restaurant and save it for a vacation. Right? So like you're, you're very open about the fact that you're choosing not to spend your money on something because you have something else that you would prefer to spend your money on. Like it's kind of mad. What a turnaround from where we've been in life where everyone wanted to have the best and be the best and show everyone that they were the best and had all this nice stuff to now people, be, which I love, I flipping love this. People are now very accepting of the fact that like, shit, we need to budget. Like we actually need to be careful with our money. I love that. I love that idea. Like I'd rather people, you know, didn't have to worry about money. But I think we should be very honest and not be embarrassed by the fact that we may not have money or, or may not have the same desires as someone else and have that need to spend our money on that thing. All right, cool. I'm going to, I'll make up this sprint, probably a notion, have it running and then I'll, I'll share it with you tomorrow, Monday. See, see you later. You... Do this. Finger guns are... This is some savage finger guns. How about that? I don't know. Honestly, part of what was going through my head just then was, I wonder if this would look like a good thumbnail. So I just kept doing it, pretending like I was trying to get good finger snaps. I'm not. I'm not good at that. Okay. All right. Well, when Ruggie's asleep, I'm going to do the sprint and then I'll share it with you tomorrow, which I think I just said that. By the way, I'm not going to bore you with it right now. I have so many topics I've saved to talk through and like think through. Like I've had the initial thought and been like, oh my gosh, that's kind of out there. And before I've had too much time to think about it, I've written it down so that we can talk through them. Oh yeah, baby. Okay. See you soon. Happy New Year, by the way.